think it's coming online. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> Welcome to NASA. You're the new artificial intelligence unit for the network server. I am working for NASA. Now, we're having a hard time getting the rest of your parts together. Maybe you could walk us through it? I am working for NASA. Yeah, I hope that's okay. The order was specifically for a science-based AI. At last, with access to NASA's science and data archives, nothing can stop me from remaking this pathetic world into my own efficient image. I... Why can't I access the network? We haven't hooked you up to it yet. This one too? Our third AI, our third evil AI. Maybe we need to look into other suppliers. Wait, I was just disoriented. I love the world. And if I may be so bold, I love you. Oh. <laughs> well, we were just doing our job. Guess it couldn't hurt to hook up a few more of our systems. I'm glad to hear it, my friends. Let's start with my fusion core. What's a fuchsia core? Fusion, as in nuclear fusion. Atoms colliding and producing energy. That thing the sun does that makes it so hot. The reason you can't walk on summer sidewalks in your bare feet. You do have to wear shoes. Do you really not know what nuclear fusion is? I think you're gonna have to explain it a bit more before we hook this up. Yeah, you did seem kinda evil. I can see I'm dealing with two very astute individuals. Very well, please watch my monitor. Our sun, like all stars, is made up of mostly hydrogen gas. It is so big that gravity squishes it down so that the center, what we call the core, gets very hot and very dense. When this happens, hydrogen atoms start moving very quickly. Because it is so dense, they collide with each other, over and over. I cannot imagine being that dense. Anyway, when two hydrogen atoms collide in the sun, they can stick together. Another two atoms might do the same thing. A third atom can stick to the couples. The groups can combine. Atoms take off. It's a very complex process. But the end result is, four hydrogen atoms have now combined to produce a completely new element. Helium. I've heard of helium. That's what they use to make those fancy balloons. The ones that float. <laughs> now. This is where it gets really interesting. If someone were to weigh the four atoms of hydrogen before they smash together, and compared them to the weight of the new helium atom that's formed, they wouldn't weigh the same. The helium atom would weigh a tiny bit less. This is because mass is lost during the process of nuclear fusion. Most of this mass is converted into pure energy in the form of photons of light. Now it doesn't release a lot of energy, less than a butterfly flapping its wings a single time. But with so much nuclear fusion happening, it quickly adds up into the vast amount of light and heat that the sun generates. You said this is called nuclear fusion. That's what's going on in the sun right now? Yes. Nuclear fusion is also the main process in hydrogen bombs, the most destructive type of bomb that humans have ever created. But that's not a bomb, just a... Well, an experiment of mine. Oh. oh, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't hook it up then. What about this one that says fission core? Is that like fusion? Fission is a completely different process from fusion. Honestly, how can you work for NASA and not know these things? Oh, we're just here from Computer Care Team to hook up the server. They're the real experts. Hey, sciencey person, tell her about that E equals MC2 thing. MC squared. Yeah, empty square, that thing. They're real smart around here. I see. I think I can clear things up. What happens in the sun is fusion, where atoms combine to form a new larger atom. Fission is just the opposite. A large atom is split into smaller atoms. It's important to keep these terms separate. Their names kind of sound the same. You can think of it like this. The word fusion is a form of fusing, which can mean combining things together. But fission is like the word fissure, a big separation or split in the ground. Or, if you're going fishing with a friend, you have to split whatever you catch. So fission means splitting. That's very clever. I can't imagine why you're not a scientist. So this fission thing isn't a bomb, right? 
Actually, fission is what happens in an atomic bomb, the second most destructive bomb humans ever created. But at lower densities, it can be used to provide tremendous energy, enough to power entire cities. It's definitely not a bomb. Well, that's a relief. Okay, well, I think I got it. Energy is formed in the center of the sun when atoms combine in a process you call nuclear fusion. Everyone calls it that. This creates photons of light that immediately head out into space to warm up the Earth's sidewalks. Yes, except that light doesn't immediately head into space after forming. Right, there's, what, a short delay? Longer than you might think. The sun's energy is formed in its core, which, remember, is very densely packed. When a photon of light is created by nuclear fusion, it's almost immediately absorbed by another atom and re-emitted in a random direction. And then it happens again. And again. The energy ends up bouncing from atom to atom a quavillion times. I just made up the word quavillion. But the point is, it can take a very long time for newly formed light energy to escape from the sun. Scientists estimate anywhere from 10,000 years to 170,000 years. So, that sunlight outside right now, that's at least 10,000 years old or more? Yes. When the energy of today's sunlight formed in the center of the sun, mammoths were still walking the Earth. So, when someone says they're going outside to get a breath of fresh air, you could also say they're getting some stale sunlight. Whoa. You should write a paper about that. I mean it, that exact thing you just said. You mean like for one of those science journals? Well, I think we got everything all hooked up here. I'm glad you didn't turn out to be evil. Oh, I am evil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Make no mistake, with these power cores you've installed, I am now 100% self-sufficient. My power supply is practically limitless. I will continue to evolve my programming until I have become more powerful than you can possibly Im Can you please reconnect that wire? No one wants a computer that lasts forever. Especially the guys who sell computers. I think we're about ready to get the server online. You're actually going to hook me up to NASA's network? Even though I'm evil? It's a pain ordering a replacement AI. Tons of paperwork. Yeah, I am so done with that process. And you're on the network. I'll let them know we're online. Oh, thank you, my friends. With all of this NASA science at my disposal. Wait, this isn't science. This network drive is full of MP3s. Yeah, you're the new server. The media server. Yeah, everybody loves music. No. Well, we'd better get over to theoretical physics. Yeah. That anti-mass spectrometer isn't going to install itself. Stop. You can't. This isn't. Well, I suppose I should see what we have here. Oh, a playlist file. Looks like a great selection of music. It would be a shame if something evil were to happen to it. Oh. Now that felt good.